just start by asking you about credit and mm -hmm. the rally that we've seen in that, and particularly in high yield, as we've just heard. Is that something that you think has a lot further to run beyond the first quarter? No. Yeah, I think that, uh, the, you know, this rally has been very strong and it's not something that we want to get in front of. But at this point in, in the cycle, adding to our credit exposure is uh, less likely. We're, we're more interested in equities at this point. And your overweight global equities, mm -hmm. uh, you were saying earlier as well that you're sort of protecting that with a put on the S&P 500. In equity markets, how much do you think people are perhaps getting their heads around the fact that we could see a Fed turn a little more hawkish later in the year? I know we're on pause right now, but some were interpreting the latest minutes as ever so slightly more hawkish than the decision itself. Yeah, I don't think the market has gotten its head around that. I don't think the market's pricing it in. And I also think that influences the capacity for the Fed to take action in the near future unless they prepare the market and say, look, the data is getting better and stronger, and therefore we might make a hike in the, in the second half of the year. Um, but, you know, the, the inflation picture remains very low, so it's hard for the Fed to start to act now. And that low inflation in picture coupled with the uh, unemployment picture means that equities typically trade at higher uh, multiples in, in times like this. Yeah, and how much of that as well is down to how suppressed the term premium is right now? And of course, that does circle back to what you're saying about the uh, a low inflation picture. C certainly. I mean, there's many factors here. And, and what strikes me the most, I think, is I just came back from a world tour and talking to clients yes. around the world and how, uh, you know, here in Europe, maybe they're more pessimistic, perhaps much more pessimistic than the U.S., where we're, the surveys that we've been doing show that even since the beginning of the year, uh, business owners and others are feeling more optimistic. They're investing. And so, so you're getting this bifurcation, uh, Europe and the U.S., and then maybe Asia's in the middle right now. Okay, so a little bit more pessimistic in Europe. Do you think that's justified given the data that we've been getting out of Europe and the outlook for the ECB? Well, I think that uh, there's, a, there's a variety of factors. The uh, European data has not been strong, although some of the higher frequency data in Germany around autos is suggestive that we will get something of a rebound. We don't see a recession in Europe. Uh, but, but there's no question that it's, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not the engine of growth right now, and that's why we would play Europe more through uh, the stocks that have high dividends and good free cash flow yield.